Let's go with that play without any context. <laughs> <laughs> so I, rest I restarted the chapter thing because I wanted to see the cutscene. Um, Just seeing, you know, fucking hearing a woman scream. Yeah, you don't need to know the context of what happened. Let's say you shit in German. That's what she said. <laughs> Nein! <laughs> no, she said scheiße. <laughs> That's a big old dream. I want to send it on my iPhone. Sponsor my Apple. I think it was a G. metrosexual what? Is that what he said? I'm just clearly ignoring the subtitle. <laughs> Welcome back to Metrosexual Champs. Taylor doesn't want to do a big booby to Android, and I'm disappointed. Does that surprise you at all? No, it doesn't, but like, I can still be disappointed by what I expect. Oh no. It's back. <laughs> <The best>. No! <laughs> no, I've never, I've never really had any uh, sexual interest in those weird things, like the cat girl. You know, I think we've all like established that the the best thirty percent, the best like amount is like like the one girl from Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, you know, like she's pretty good, but like you know, she's like the fox girl, and like that's like a, the that's the perfect amount. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what she looks like underneath all those clothes, but like you know, probably like a woman, probably like a basic woman. I mean, maybe she's got to have a hole in her pants so that way her tail can come out. You know, yeah, but you know, she's still gonna look like a woman basically. Yeah, maybe just with like. You know, a little more hair. You know what's great though is that like we don't have the pressure to like have strong feelings on those things because those people aren't real. Yet. Yet. Yet, Taylor. <laughs> I saw the headlines. What? What? What headlines? You, 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 you didn't see Elon Musk says that he uh, he knows how he can make cat girls. He just needs funding, and people are going to fund that. Um, you know it's true. Yeah, but he also hangs out with fucking Kanye West, so... Yeah. And you know who Kanye West likes? Himself. Cat girls. <laughs> <laughs> likes himself more than anybody. No, he likes fish. Yeah. Because he's a gay fish. No, he's gone on record as saying, like, my only regret is that I'd never be able to see myself live. <laughs> and then everyone's just like, boo, you suck. You know, and like some people will say, you gotta separate the art from the artist. But I don't know when you yeah. have that amount of ego. Can I separate his like head from his brain? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> separate his fucking head from his body. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I mean that's what I'm saying. Like for me, for like with him especially, it's just difficult. Like I, I can't separate, you know, the person from the art. Well, see, I don't like his art anyway. So. I don't either. I don't either. But I'm just saying, like either either way. I don't wish to separate anything because I would just like to remain, you know, to not have them at all. Yeah. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I think he's a big dumb doo doo face. He is. <laughs> Into the grinder. He's also, like, bipolar or something. Yeah, <laughs> there's clearly something wrong with him. Like, he's, yeah, there's something wrong with him mentally, like, clearly. Into the grinder. And if you like his music, then I think there's something clearly mentally wrong with you, too. That's, uh, that's a line in the sand. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is a line in the sand. I, like, it kind of takes... I totally agree. <laughs> it takes you back, takes me back to that argument that I was having with Kit about, like, liking all kinds of music, you know what I mean? And it's like... You commit suicide. Because I got knocked into the grinder. <laughs> but that's not suicide, then. I don't know. Talk, talk to the game developers about that one. <laughs> But as the same, oh no, they got committed suicide. There's, there's um, just certain kinds of music that people just don't drive with, and for me, that's one of them. Is like hip hop and rap music. It just it doesn't do anything for me. Like once in a while, I'll find one that I'm like, you know what, that's not bad. I don't mind like certain like classic hip hop type shit, but and by classic, I just mean like I don't know, like Cypress Hill or something. Like they got a couple cool songs. I only like it when it's done with white people. Cypress Hill White? 
I don't know. I don't think they are. It was a, it was a joke. I don't, I don't listen. <laughs> I only like M&M's. <laughs> oh, no, he committed I, suicide. I, I, don't, I don't like Eminem either, to be honest. Uh, like, I like know, a couple of his songs. But like, he's talented. Very talented. Yeah. Good rapper. He's don't gr- care. great at what he does. I just, like, you know, it's harder for me, I think, to have a respect for that kind of thing just because I don't really like rap that much. Like, I'm just not, like, you know, I like music that has music and like rap is not focused on the instrumental it's more focused on the lyrics and the flow and all yeah, that yeah you know? i like a good set of lyrics but i'm also much more into lyric uh not lyrics <laughs> like the music around. yeah the music yeah i, I want to hear the melody yeah exactly that's how i feel also one for the melody two for my dick gonna fuck your ass and call you a spick leave that out <laughs> Bleep it all. And that out. was Billy's rap. Thing. That was Billy's spick no, rap. No, no, no. You, you bleep all of that out. It was terrible. No. <laughs> this is gonna be one long bleep. <laughs> <It's me. laughs> and then I subtitle it. <laughs> <laughs> that way, they don't. Even, they won't know the shame of how bad the rap was. <laughs> so that's uh, that's right there. Case in point. Like rapping is not easy. It's not an easy thing. But you know what is easy. Making a rap instrumental. Getting 10% off your car insurance with Geico. Hashtag sponsorship. I'll take any sponsorship at this point, really. Kanye West is sponsored. <laughs> 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 Did you take that? I'd probably end the show. <laughs> if that would I'd be like, alright, well, I'm not making any videos for you, Kanye. <laughs> You I'll make videos for you as soon as you make yourself scarce. You know what I mean? No. What is what is scarce? Like the the one just, YouTuber scarce? No, just the fuck off, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> like stop doing what you do. Like stop, stop being a living. Yes, just stop being around. No, I don't care if he dies. I don't either. <laughs> I'm not saying I want him to I die. Want. I just want him to not be around anymore. That's all. Oh, I got some new ones. Hold on. <laughs> oh fuck! Aren't there people like that in your like in your opinion that you just don't ever want to see ever again? Like you don't want them to oh, die. Yeah. You just don't want them to be there anymore. Yeah, I just want them to phase out of existence. Thanos snap style, which means they want them to die. I don't want them to die. I want them to die. <laughs> <laughs> There are some people no, I want I, to die. And then there's some people that I want them to like die horribly. And I then know. there's some people that I want to I, not die, but like to never see again. Like you want and some people to, die to get sent to that room at the end of Half-Life 1 if you don't walk through the portal? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, and then you get to hang out with the, the Krogan. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think I honestly think Mass Effect Andromeda would be fun to play on here because yeah. we can make the decisions by ourselves, and I don't know the story. Yeah, I don't either. I don't so. know anything about it. I well, think we can we can make you know do a straw poll between us. There's a I'm pretty sure there's a gay Krogan in it. I think, or at least he talks like he's he sounds like he's gay anyway. Shepard. I don't know how to do a gay voice. I met. Uh, Are, is that is that against the rules when you say gay voice? I don't know. Should I he say he gay speaks voice? very flamboyantly. How about that? Okay. Like he sounds like that. It's funny. The other day, I, I delivered to a, a house, and there was a guy who was like that. Like, um, he talked like one of the guys out of Queer Eye or something. And I'm like, "You're fun. I like you. Like, why can't all my customers be as happy and like polite as you?" <laughs> I don't know, man. Some people just just wanna. I just want to be so sad and sappy. Thank you for the pizza. And then I just see a noose hanging from their, <laughs> from their ceiling <laughs> fan. <laughs> uh, you you alright? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just, you know, just, Halloween you season know. and all that. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> That's what it says there. It's Halloween, you know. It's a decoration. And also a daily reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Like oh, it just it just let you know. Enjoy, just in, case. enjoy the pizza, dude. I will. I hope.
hope. I might. I don't know. <laughs> For your sake, I hope. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god. You good? I'm sorry. You good? You, you good? Ow. Gotcha. You got your breath till you get a, get a fly in here. Way to be Dick Cheney, dude. <laughs> Don't forget to pick, pick up your shit. Oh, yeah. Don't fucking don't make me. Did I, die, I, did I die up here? I died up here. Yeah. Oh, you died right next to the point. <laughs> that was a very Dick Cheney move on your part, though, I will say. <laughs> Who are you? There was a bird. Why are you in my house? So Billy, what what have you been having going on in your life, man? Have a seen lot a little of bit. work. Just work. Yeah, that's okay. Work is good. I've been playing Phasmophobia a lot. I don't know what that that's is. a lot of fun. I don't know what that is. <laughs> no, I was under zoom with a rocket. Don't worry, I got him. <laughs> is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> you got him. Yeah, you got him. That's so weird how like godly quiet it is right here. <laughs> oh my god. You see him smack his head off the door? Look at the stain he left. <laughs> yeah, that's him. What's down here? Oh, oh shit. Nice. Uh yeah, phasmophobia. I don't know what that is. Do you do you not do you know what the phasmophobia is? No. The actual term? No. It is uh to be afraid of ghosts. Like phantasms? Yeah, the, the fear of ghosts. Oh! Phasmophobia is the fear of ghosts. No. So the game basically is uh, you and three other people. So four player game, up to four player. You can play it by yourself. Um, you go into certain locations. And you have a whole bunch of like tools for finding ghosts, like an EMF reader, a talk box, uh, a book that you can have the ghost write in. A Bible. Um, a crucifix, actually, not a Bible. Cool. I'm sure some people would be into that. And then uh, basically the game is, yeah, you go into the places and you... Uh, you had to ghosts. figure out. You had to figure out what ghost is haunting the place, and uh, once Ooh. you figure out what ghost is haunting the place, you can uh, get a, get the fuck out, and then the exorcism team will come later oh. and exorcise it. But yeah, so I'm sure some people would be into that. It's uh, it's fun because uh. All the ghosts are real, and they will fucking murder your ass. <laughs> Sweet. I think the only phobia I, I feel like I actually would suffer from is whatever the one is where you're, like, you're afraid of like going like in the ocean. Oh, oh I like remember. the fear of the, the deep kind yeah. of thing. Like, or, as time has gone on, I think that one's kind of like, I don't know, come come about a little bit. Because then I played games like fucking like Subnautica, and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> like, even like when I get like the, the nice big, you know, submersible thing, and, you know, I and the monsters themselves don't look that scary. No. Frankly. They're really not. But it's like, it's just that when you're like sinking down and all you see is like the abyss. <laughs> like, just the thought of, like, not knowing what's there, I think, is yeah. really what it boils down to. Um, yeah, because there's been plenty of times where I'd be playing it, and then you're, like, stinking down, and I'm like, ugh, I hate this. I fucking hate it. <laughs> you see, that's one of those games that I would love to play, like... Yeah, like, VR would be terrifying. Yeah. It'd be terrifying. Even in, like, GTA, like, I hate that shit. Like, there's parts where you're in the sub, and it's just yeah. like, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I think that's the only, like, phobia I could say that I m might have. I don't know. 
But I've never, I've never obviously been in an open body of water like that anyway. Yeah. But like just even experiencing it in video games, it makes me very anxious. Mm, mine are definitely spiders. I do not like spiders. Spiders I don't give a shit about. <laughs> See, I, I'm not like, I would say, super phobic of them. Right. I'm that way with like bees. I don't like bees. You know, let me out. Let me out. I don't like bees. Just I think, not even because like, I think I just have like a bad association bees. with them because because like there was one time when I was like a kid that I got stung and like when you're a kid like obviously like yeah everything is worse everything is far worse so I think if I got stung now I'd probably be like oh that's not that bad but I'm so afraid to get stung <laughs> yeah getting stung sucks yeah but like it just kind of hurts for a little bit yeah it's irritating yeah that's about it because like i remember one time we were at melissa's brother's house like in the summertime and there's just bees flying on fucking everywhere and then one of them just lands on melissa's finger and she just doesn't give a shit she's like whatever and like i would not be that way <laughs> no you'd be like Whoa. i'd be like get away get away yeah i hate that shit i'm adverse to bees like I, and I'm I know like, it's I'm not afraid of I know it's an irrational thing too like oh, yeah. I, I realize that but you know Good lord I got to get some better guns man Mhm mm oh, you got a rocket that's good I don't have fucking jack I can't do anything against these dudes There you go there it is I will say the second playthrough of this is kind of interesting just because of the fact that it's like it's it actually is, harder. It's kind of it's seemingly providing new challenges, but it, I think part of it's partially because we just haven't played this game in such a long time. But also, um, yeah, the fact that we don't have any of the badass stuff that we had the first time. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna have to cut this episode soon too. But yeah, so that phasmophobia is fun. I've That's been cool. playing with Mitch and Jimmy, and Jimmy. That's cool. He uh, he's. He's a baby with those kind of games. <laughs> yeah. And I, that's why I invited him to play. Because I love to see him just fucking squirm. That reminds me of when we played Silent Hill Downpour. I never thought that game was that scary, but like it's like it's got its moments. Yeah. I remember, I think I played that game. I think I beat it. Anyway, we should probably cut the episode here. Next time on Chinstrap Chaps, we keep talking about the spooky, scary stuff. Spooky, scary stuff. <laughs>